So I said, no, no, no. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's um, video is going to be a full face where I'm going to put the eyelashes and the, uh, I'm going to attempt to do the, the wing liner. So um, right here, I am getting things ready. I already primed my face and I already put all the good stuff, did my eyebrows and all of that. So I am going in with a dark shade from the Lorac Gold Palette. So I'm just taking that like basically all up in my crease and I'm just going to bring it out a little bit and kind of like wean it. And I'm going to do the other eye just by concentrating right in my crease. I'm just going to blend. I get the desired um, look. And that color that I just put in there is um, unedited. I noticed I had a scratch on my arm. <laughs> so I'm just blending it out. You know, I, I'm trying to get used to this, uh, making quicker, shorter videos. What type of brush I can use for this? Please leave it in the comment um, description. Not the comment. Yeah, the comment box. I'm just all over the place today. So I'm just going to kind of like blend it out a little bit. What in the world am I looking at? <laughs> the craziest things not knowing. So I'm just taking my finger kind of like um, pat it in. I'm just not used to using my finger for makeup but I see a lot of people say that's the best way to apply color pop. And it's sort of kind of next to my um, eyebrow. I've been working on it for the longest. It's been there for like two weeks now. Maybe even a little longer. I've been trying everything to try to get rid of that pimple. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to try. If anybody got any suggestions, please let me know. Then I'm just going to apply that same color on the other eye. Just concentrating basically like in the outer V. This brush that I'm using is also from Colourpop. It's not really bad, but I'm kind of 
struggling on that. Maybe next time I'll try to use my fingers. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make sure I got it even on both lines. One thing about having a hooded eye is it's really kind of hard to apply eyeshadow. In my opinion. So there I'm just taking it and trying to like pet it out. I love color I love ColourPop um makeup eyeshadow. It is so pigment. Pigment it. <laughs> oh god, I'm just having a rough day today. But anywho. So there I'm just trying to go in and blend it with a different brush and actually that brush didn't do no better than the first brush. But I'm trying to work with that eyeshadow. Next time when I do it I'll probably just pop it on with my finger or something, see how that works. So now I, I think I'm getting ready to pop a gold like on the inside. And it's it's from that the rock gold palette. And it's gonna be the unlash. And I'm taking the same brush and I'm just patting it on. out of this palette and I didn't have this palette like I don't know uh, a month or so I have to start using this palette a bit more often I think I might want to try a halo using that gold I think I am going to do that so I'm just applying that same color on the next eye with um, the same brush just concentrating mainly on the inside, just patting it in. It's a beautiful color, I love it. Loving that color, loving it. back in and kind of like blend everything out, kind of like take that um, burgundy color and the gold color, kind of like blending it in a little bit so that it doesn't look so harsh or have that harsh line, the start and stop line. I'm just patting it all around, kind of even it out. washed out in this. I think I got too much light going on. Yeah, I do. Oh, you know, being new to YouTube and, you know, trial and error. Like concentrating directly in my crease area. I'm kind of like taking that unedited again and kind of like 
going in my crease to define it a little bit. And I'm going to do that to both eyes. Just blending it in. Actually, this look turned out better than what I thought. Day, I was just feeling like putting on makeup. So I'm just blending it in. Sometimes I look so serious doing this. <laughs> oh my. back over it making sure everything is even out and that pimple is going to drive me insane I'm going to have to play around with my settings on my camera which I really don't think is my camera I think I got too many I need to lower my ISO. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm just going back in to clean it. Even though I already did my brows, I'm just going back in to kind of like clean it up a little bit. Come on, Tina. You're, you're done with the eyeshadow. So I guess I'm just professionist. Trying to make things right. So I'm just patting it in. Maybe I'm looking at my galaxy or something. I don't know. right here I am going to attempt to do a wing liner I didn't do all that so don't judge me you know I'm learning practice make perfect I think my thing is I can't I don't know I just it's like I can't keep my eyes still almost got it. <laughs> I'll try. I get there. This is the hard part right here. I always, that's the hardest part for me is trying to get that down I 
at least I came further than what I was before. Just next time make it look thicker across the eyelid. That's the moment I, I realized, you know, I don't think this is going to work. I think I got this out a little bit better. They probably wouldn't even post it if they made a, a mistake or whatever. And you have to be yourself. This is the hardest part. Putting on lashes because I'm not used to wearing false lashes. I usually go and get mine done. Professionally. So there we go. I stopped the camera. Went off and tried to put them on and I trust me I struggle putting them on I love them but I got a lot of practicing they putting on false lashes it's a little cheaper than going to have them professionally put on So right now I am putting on my primer and it's called the Professional. And I'm just going to add, put that all over my skin and stuff so the makeup, so the foundation could kind of like um, last all day.
Okay, and the foundation that I'm using is L'Oreal True Match, and it's in a nut brown C7. And I'm just gonna dab it all over and then I'm gonna blend it in. I'm just blending the foundation on. Actually, this foundation is better than what I thought. This is my first time using a L'Oreal True Match. Actually, it was on sale for like $7 at um, Walmart. And it blends in really good. And it's billable too. So. Lashes and the wing liner is like so I'm just applying a little bit more foundation for a little bit more coverage. and I'm just trying to blend all of it out even. I am so like loving this foundation. I might need to go back and stock up on it because it was on sale for like seven people. I'm still looking at the eyeliner and my eyelashes, guys. And now I am going to kind of like highlight a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. And this is the LA um, Girl Pro Concealer. And it is in the color Cool Tan. So now I'm just gonna blend everything in. I'm loving that color, my God, that is nice. Come on, you gotta blend some more. It's a little light, but you know, get it toned down a little bit. bit of um, color back into my skin <laughs> and it's from Sephora it's in the color deep I'm just 
just put it on um, my nose, my chin, all around my head just a little bit. And just watch how all that color just come back into my skin. I might look a little bit washed out a little bit, but it's going to come back. I'm just gonna blend all that contour in some. Just blending everything out. I'm taking my um, beauty sponge, which is amazing. Love it. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna, you know, blend it out some more so it doesn't look so harsh. <laughs> Sometimes I get so carried away. And I'm just gonna blend that in that's on my nose. Just my finger to finish blending it in. Okay. There I go biting on my lip. So now I am putting a little bit of uh, Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder under my eyes. Just gonna set the makeup in a little bit. Everywhere where I highlight it, that's where I'm putting the powder. Taking this brush and I'm just gonna dust all the excess powder away.
my best to cover that pimple. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that pimple, I got it. Yeah, I'm still playing with those lashes. So I'm just adding a little bronzer onto my cheekbone, and it's from, it's a pro bronzer in the color medium. Getting ready to oh this is the highlighter and it's from oh my god oh guys I'm telling you I did one video where I put it on for the first time uh, OMG I had to take some of it off I was like blinging blinging I probably would have blind somebody if I would have went out with that and it's from um, Ultra Cosmetic it is awesome Just putting the highlighter on my cubic bone, my nose, cheekbone, all the places I want to shine. color charm. So now this makeup is from MAC. And it is Viva Glam 2. 
Awesome. I have Viper Glam 1, 2. And I'll have two. Both of them are beautiful. So I want to put a little gloss on my lip to kind of like <clears throat> bring it out a little bit more. So I guess I had to put a little bit more of that glam on it. Bye bye glam. So this um, next thing I'm going to put on is, is by LA Color Lip Gloss. It's like a tinted pink. So I'm just applying it to my lip brush. I decided to put a little bling bling in, in, in the corner of my eye.